Uh, there were 10 people here that night. Six of the people went to the north, four of the people went to the south. Uh, two of the, the four people that were going to the south was my mother and my brother. They were beaten first. Uh, they were asking, where are the white people? Looking for a Mika Swana, apparently. But they weren't here. They were in Oxford, Ohio, getting training to come back down to for Freedom Summer. But anyway, they were looking for him, and that's what they kept asking, where are the white people? And they told him, there, there's no white people here. And they told my brother that he was lying. So they beat him up, and then they went on the other side and grabbed my mother out and beat her up. And when they finished beating her, they told him to get going. And there was a car behind my mother with another couple in it, Mr. Bud Cole and his wife, Mr. Beatrice. And if you've seen, read the story or seen anything about this, they stopped and beat him up. Kept asking, where are the white people? Where are the white people? And they beat him up. So my mother, when they got home, they had left late because we didn't know, we had forgotten there was a board meeting. They left late, but they came home late. We kept trying to figure out, where are they? They should be home by now. It was just a little board meeting. Well, they were beaten up and stopped and all that stuff. So they, my mother said when they got, when she got home. A little louder. Okay, my mother said when um, uh, that they were told, when, once they beat them up, they were told to get going. And my mother left, and my brother left, because when, we, when they got to our house, she said, I don't know what happened to Bud and Beatty. That's what we call Mr. Bud and his wife, Beatty. And they could have killed them tonight, because they were a lot older than my mother was at the time. But uh, they beat him up severely. Uh, he was never able to walk again uh, without some kind of uh, assistance. And uh, my mother's collarbone was broken. My brother was 26 at the time, 24 at the time. He died in 1966 at 26. But um, it was just terrible down here at the time. Uh, but nowadays it's a lot better. It uh, has improved 99%. Uh, the young lady that's standing here by the, beside me, we met uh, back in 2005, I think it was, uh, she found out we were having, getting ready, we were doing, we had established a coalition and we were trying to uh, get everything ready for the 20th year, uh, the 40th year anniversary here at Mount Zion. And we had meetings and trying to get people to come in and join us. And uh, we had had several meetings at the City Hall and at the First United Methodist Church, which was a white church. And they allowed us to meet there. And we had had maybe three or four meetings before Deborah came in. And she had read some information about what was going on. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, dear. Thank you so much. Um, and she wanted to see, because she had been told a lot of things that wasn't true. And